Hello and welcome back. So this video, we're going to run a simulation in OpenFL. So this is our big three mesh, our, our big three video. So we addressed many basic concepts in the previous video. So at this point, we should have a mesh. It doesn't matter what you have. So just to show you here, let's open and just to do the, the simulation in OpenFL. So I generated this mesh, a very nice mesh. So you can have something similar. So I will use a poly mesh and I have five inflation layers and so on. Okay, so as I told you previous videos, no, I recommend to save the steps. So see that in, uh, is, if I, at any point I want to go back, for instance, to face mesh or the boundary layer, I have my steps there. Okay, I recommend you to do that, to proceed in that, in that way. Also, by the way, in the previous videos, uh, in Norway, my case was crashing mysteriously. I know the reason is not related to in Norway. It was something that I was running many applications at the same time. And also I unplugged some, the microphone and that makes sense crash. So it wasn't related to anything in an hour. So to do the simulation, so we have the mesh and I want to show you something here about this that are, we're going to address in future videos like bands, no, so not, Advanced concepts and boundary layer stuff like that. But look at this very nice feature that we have here that we added this quad mesh here in this uh, in this edge. And one of the things of adding this one is that can help you a lot. So for instance, if we have this geometry, if we have this geometry with this fitted, resolving this fitted will require to use a lot of triangles or whatever kind of cells that you are using. So this technique here, you can tell Enova to add this one and it will resolve much better those fillets. It can do it automatically, it can do it manually. In this case, I did it manually and we show how to do it. But these are nice meshing techniques since that probably you haven't seen and since that cannot be done with the snappy hex mesh. Okay, so a huge, huge point in favor uh, of Enova. So let me add here also the Couple Index Explorer this mesh here, let me put it here. So you can try it with very complex geometry and you will see that always your boundary layer is going to generate very good boundary layers, okay? So there are different ways to control that one. This is more advanced features, okay? So you have a stuff like compressing the boundary layer or a stair stepping and raising some cells. But in this case, look at that, we generated poly cells, also beautiful aligning, so kind of equivalent to having those extra elements. So this is a very nice mesh. And this is what we're going to do to run this simulation. So recall the classic case flow entering here, here, and then just get some colors just to show you how to set up sims. Also want to show you some, the, the, some sims regarding quality so here you have all these metrics but let's use this one the quality metric in Innova so as you clip in any of this for instance this one okay show and then you can visualize where do you have those problems in this case it's not not a problem you can visualize those, those cells okay and let me go group here cut plane let me hide the cut plane and I go the diagnostic and fine here so if you click next, where we only have one cell, this cell has 11 faces, I guess, and see that you have it there. This is the cell, okay? And the same, you, you can do the same with other elements. So let me select this one, show. Okay, so you can explore where you have all those critical cells. So see that these cells, which are not critical, you have it there. Okay, so nice feature, but any commercial tool will have it. So feel free to play around with those metrics. You can also measure things here. So you have measure angle, distance, volume, location of points and so on. Okay, so we have a mesh. Let me remove this. I don't need the cut planes. And we're going to use this to run the open phone simulation. Okay, so first things that we need to address is that we need to have open phone, okay? Where I am running in my case in Windows, since you are running in Linux, it's the same stuff, okay? Probably will be easier. But if you are running in, in Windows, you need to have uh, Windows existing Linux with uh, open phone install. So here, let, let me launch in my case here. I open in here my PowerShell. And the most important thing is that, let me run this command here. You need to have you know, the, 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 the virtual machine installed, okay? But also you need to have it in, in Ubuntu, okay? And it needs to it needs to be the default Linux installation to launch when you launch, when you open Windows existing Linux, okay? If you have something else, it's going to give you a problem because it always configured to run 
okay with ubuntu and windows okay so you need to have ubuntu as a default so this uh, asterisk means the default so we have another video in our channel how to to work with this windows system linux so in the description you have the link we need to update it also to the latest version but i guess it's the same okay so now just to show you something that may open the the virtual machine you need to open the virtual machine just to to, to run it and all about just to show you that it, this is a classical installation okay nothing new okay and what it launched let me open here so we have our mesh and now to set up the simulation okay let me go show groups um, okay you need to click here set up open phone case you have all the, these tabs here that means a different entry so you click in this one okay and it's going to open this one uh, all the tabs it's sometimes takes a while because it's loading all the scripts and everything but it's not a big deal so here we have our virtual machine okay so the standard virtual machine i install open phone okay i install the precompiled binary is the one you can compile it there is not a problem i need to source it but what you need to know is where you have open phone installed in your virtual machine so in my case it's installed in this location here okay i don't need the etc bash rc i don't need that information i just need to know where it's installed okay and install the rpm pre-compile it you can compile it it's up to you it's faster to use the rpm or the, the pack pre-package configuration so while here we are loading everything okay just to point out some things here the meshes so i already have the cases here okay i generate all the meshes and in this case we have you know the the whole setup even the the open phone setup how you select you no know, bonder conditions and so on you can save it here and later we're going to see that we export everything into open phone format and you, we're going to have the classical directory structure okay so that's why we're we load everything okay so we have all the tabs okay so the most important thing is that you go here in the last one and see that you have the option to save the dictionary so you can write the mesh you recommend it write the mesh you have some notes other options you can save extra dictionary so as you click here export give it a name i will call it run one you can save in ascii or binary so let me save it in ascii and it's going to save your classical directory structure and see that it's saving everything in your windows windows directory as you go here you are going to have all the files you have the automatic the script generated by Nova to run everything all the files that you choose so if you want to add extra mesh for to do to the check mesh and so on you're going to have all those extra files you have in zero the full fi files you don't have any boundary condition here set up because we haven't done that but you have the classical directory structure everything in there just also to show you that from windows succeeds in linux you can access those files so this is this is just to give you more flexibility if you are a new user or if you don't know, want to go through the uh, through the text files to set up your case you can we can use this the gui but also you can set up everything in the traditional way if you have if you have used open phone just open the files and change change everything so just to show you that this directory okay you can access everything okay so it should be here the Drop, but I will have that in my CFD. Then I think I'd have a NOBA. Okay, and then I have sample elbow two. And then here I have meshes. And here I have run one. And that's it. If we have one, I can run my simulation here. Okay, so look at my directors, my Windows one, running my machine, my, my, my Linux existing for windows no virtual machine so everything is nicely integrated okay so just in the link you will have uh, in the in the description you will have a link now of how to install the wsl but you can have plenty of you can find plenty of information in internet and in microsoft website as well so let's set up this case okay let's see what will happen so we know that here we can save everything and you can run later we're going to see that if you are in windows select this one if you are in linux select this one so we're in windows select there so let's go to the first icon here and this is very important okay so here you can set up the, your let's say your control dictionary so every entry that you have in 
compulsory entry, let's say better, you can set up here. So see that we're going to run with this version of OpenFun. And very important, you need to go to modules. And here you need to give the location where do you have your OpenFun version installed. So recall that in our case, OK, let me go. And let me load open phone. So you need to load open phone. You need to, as I say, you need to open anything here. You need to open the virtual machine, everything, uh, and always going to find the location of everything. And in my case, see that open phone is installed in this directory. So this directory is the one that you can set here. So this is something that you set once. So see that already I define it here. Okay. Or or no, I didn't define it, so you go there, double click here, and see Control B, and you have it there. Save. Okay, I save my file there. And that's all. Okay, now we know it's going to find where you have uh Open fun and now you need to set up your case. So let's set up the simplest case, all incompressible, simple phone. I don't want I want to run with four cores. Okay, this one you have here. Let's run uh let's put here right interval every 20 and let's run 200 iterations there. The rest is okay. So now let's go divergence. So this is the discretization. So see that we have a very robust default skin so let's use this one but it's the one you can change it you you can access many methods there here you have the application the simple fd solution so you can set your solutions and so on so let's use default then materials here you can define materials you have access to polynomial tables species and so on so later we're going to prepare a few more cases just to show you how to set up everything but imagine that here we're working with a GUI accessing the same information that you have here so for instance you open boundary conditions okay you have the files and you can set up everything so the default setup see that everything are walls 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 and then when we start to change everything we're going to get new information there Okay, so you can set up using the, your text file. Okay, we're happy with materials. Then we go here. This is the constants uh, here in constant. So we can set up models here. So see that we're running this material, this tolerance models. You want to add sources and so on. Here you have your initial conditions and so on. And you have more options here. So see that we can do overset meshes. So recall that previously we talked about that. So we're going to see how to do those set, set up as well. Then we go boundary conditions. Okay. So let's set up here boundary conditions. So we have inlets and in the inlet, I want this one inlet. I want this boundary condition and I want this here. I'm happy with this. I have inlet two. Inlet two will be this one here. Okay, so that one, let's say that I want also velocity there, inlet. So we get access to these boundary conditions, okay. Uh, the most important ones, but you can, get, we, you can get more access to more functions. So here you have this user GUI and you can uh, modify your or create your own XML file where you can do your own setup and access more functions. So it's very flexible. Okay, so we were talking about inlet two and would be like this zero let me put here 0 0.5 you have standard setup there then we go outlet outlet will be an outlet and this is the type that we can access oops let me put it here retort retort flow so this is the outflow in the stuff the default treatment and we have that setup and then walls are wall Okay, so this is our setup. Then if you have some model, more models, you can add more stuff. You can also, you have also access to expressions and so on. Okay, so this is for Lagrangian particles. You have Lagrangian particles, so you have a dictionary and access to many models. So, so far we don't have, we haven't defined anything here. So here we go to function objects. So you can define your function objects here. So here you are going to get access to the predefined one in Inova, but if you want to add something extra that is not implemented, you can create your own user GUI or remember you have 
all the text files so have it manually there is no problem okay so i'll always like to compute minimum and maximum all fields you just want to have pros you want to see the y plus value and you have everything there okay so for me for the moment that is okay you have here more function objects okay so for instance you want to add a scalar a passive scalar energy equation more models acoustic stuff coded function objects and so on then we go this one these are sb auctions it's not optimization optimization is this one okay so probably would be better to change that opt usually relate always opt with optimization and see that you have here the functions the sb auction so it's up to you to enable one so you have the most important one for the moment i don't want anything so we go here post okay so this one is post-processing. So if you want to say sort of faces on the fly or save some extra fields, or for instance, you want to save, I don't know, let me put the CUDA number and Q criteria, you were going to fill expressions and so on. Okay, so you ask, access many stuff. This is the one related to optimization, okay? And you have access to that join, very handy for those that want to use that join. So probably a future video, we're going to see, do something more advanced. We are remaining at the basic level and that's it we save everything okay and at this point let's explore everything so let me call it uh, let me over overwrite this one from one and if i go here and let me open this you're going to see that we have updated all boundary conditions okay so with the default setup and if you want, you can modify anything there. So it is up to you. So go here, control, and see that all the, the setup, function objects, everything, you have it there. So you have the option. Use the GUI, set up everything, or just go ahead. And if you are a guru, a super master in open phone, well, do it manually. Okay. So at this point, we're ready to run. And to run, just you need to click here. Okay. Select WSL and that's all it's going to start to do all the black magic and running the scripts and so on so if we go here you're going to see that look at that we're integrating everything in windows nicely you have all the <clears throat> decomposition for processors okay and at this point it's, it's, it's running okay so you have all the directories doing the renumbering okay so i see that we enable that option here and at this point it's running we have post-processing so simple phone and i can open the receivable files here 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 and i can plot my residuals so see that it's running you can see the, those residuals but also it is running and you can access the log file so see that it's running and you have access to everything there Okay, integrating in a very nice way, both Linux and Windows and everything is mostly running is mostly. Okay, so we have our residuals, that we updated, and very, very nicely it's running. Okay, so we about this setup was safe every 20 iterations, 200 iterations, and there was also a convergence criterion. I think it was here 10 to the minus probably would reach it probably not so let's wait a little bit now so okay so I stopped the case now I close I was, run, I was running, I closed the window here, the wrong window, it doesn't matter. So the simulation it was running nicely, so I have my solution. So this stuff here, let's say, is, remember, we're here, you have your solution. Okay, and I can launch Paraview in my Windows existing Linux, and you can access your solution. This is traditional post-processing, okay. So you have, have it here, close here, apply. And let's see first the mesh. 
So it's a very, very nice mesh. Okay, poly mesh. This is the meshes I like. So I guess we need to educate you that these are better meshes. Okay, but don't believe me, you need to test it. Okay, so we have the mesh here, accessing the, the decompose solution and then the standard post-processing. Let me put here, and there you go, the last time, okay? So this was in, 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 in Linux. I have, it happens that I have Paraview Windows that me launch just to show you the same. So it works exactly the same way. You access the directory where you have the simulation. You need to open this file, the post phone, and now you can do the post processing. I have to be honest, I think uh, open phone in Windows is faster than the Windows subsystem version. So I like to use open phone for this. Uh, Windows, the Paraview Windows version for this. So see that you already start to see that it's, it's a little bit faster. And also it's a cleaner, better version. Now you have access to more functions. So let me disable this also here. This is your mesh and the rest post-processing, it will be exactly the same. So let me just access the compose case and uh, let me put here, I don't know, the current number, so if we can have a reference in the wall, but also we have, I think, the white plus, so this is your white plus, and so on. Okay, so this was in Windows, and then also you can do the post-processing, okay, let me close here, in Enova. So you have access to, it's based in Paraview, okay, so pretty much it's the same. It's a, a little bit more compact version, so to access the solution, Okay, but by every means I recommend you just to stay with Paraview, the standalone version. Open this file here, and then it's going to access the solution and see that you have exactly the same. As I say, it's a little bit more limited, okay? You have access just to the most important things or to what you really, really need. So you select the cut plane there, apply, then group list, I don't want to see this, let's say this, this, and this, and see that you have access to the velocity, you can advance in time, you can change the field, so I have the cut plane there, and I want to color that by, let's say, this component of velocity, or you want to color that by pressure, or whatever you, you want. Okay, you go here, and you have access now, slices, clips, isosurfaces, threshold, and then you can have string lines, vectors, and so on. The most, the most basic function. So this is it. This is how you launch your simulation, okay, in part of you. As you see, very clean interface, very straightforward. The important thing is that now we're getting good meshes. This is one of the most difficult things in, in open phone, or especially for complica complicated geometries, getting good quality meshes and getting those boundary layer meshes. So this is it. This was our big three mesh. I think at this point, you are ready to set up your simulations, get your geometries, work, in okay, case so you have questions, we have a forum in CFD online, or you can drop me an email, but we're not done yet, okay? We have many more videos in this exactly same geometry. We're going to start to see more advanced features, but we're going to focus a lot in meshing, okay? Because running the simulation up and fun is straightforward. Okay, that's it. Thank you for your attention. See you next time. Bye.